What is up guys, your boy Mike back here again from Mike's Money Move guys. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I made some profit flipping a car that I purchased that pretty much cost me nothing. I'm going to show you guys that now. So guys, as you guys would have heard in the intro itself, guys, you guys would have heard me basically saying that I purchased a car that I was intending to flip. So let me give you guys a brief understanding and let me show you guys what the car looks like. So this is the car itself. So this is a 2006 Honda Odyssey. Yes, a Honda Odyssey if you guys can see here by itself. So you might be thinking, why the hell would you buy a Honda Odyssey? Why would you buy a people mover? Why would you buy a minivan? It makes completely no sense. You've got a van now. You don't need a people mover. So let me backtrack this before you guys jump ahead and jump the queue basically what happened way before this So if you guys remember in one of my previous video guys this one right here is where it basically shows that I basically quit my job and intended to work full-time flipping couches for a little while So during this period guys if you guys didn't know I was in the process of looking for a car or looking for a vehicle realistically to pretty much flip couches. So while doing my research guys, I wanted to find something that I had two uses of. One that I can use, that I can drive around all the time, that you know, that worked and I could bring people on it as well. And number two, one that's going to fit a couch. So with my amazing mind and my intelligence going out there, trying to work out the calculations and the measurements, I thought to myself, hey, if I buy a Honda Odyssey, this will fit a couch in it, no problem whatsoever. So. Knowing myself, knowing this uh, amazing thought process that I went through, I ended up buying one. So one actually popped up very, very cheap. Uh, it was a little while away from where I was, about half an hour from where I was living at the time. Basically, I went to this place, went to purchase this one. It was dirt cheap, and the reason being is it was on its last legs. So having a look at it, I went to actually purchase this vehicle, and it was the roughest. And when I say the roughest, it's probably the worst test drive that I ever had in my life. Um, and there was so many other factors as well that made this not a deal to purchase. So let me explain to you guys basically what happened. I drove through this place, took about 30, 40 minutes driving here. I went there and basically looked at this vehicle. It was a Honda Odyssey. So, you know, perfectly fine. It was it parked in the driveway and they all said, um, basically they were getting rid of it. They didn't need it anymore. It was on its last legs and we don't want it. It's got rego, everything's all sweet. So once I got there, the process of basically what happened was I was actually talking with their son who was at the age, probably about 16, 17 years of age. Didn't know much about cars, didn't know much about negotiations or anything like that while he had his parents basically behind him who couldn't speak a lick of English. Didn't help at all, it was an Asian kid, um, Asian family, perfectly fine, whatever, whatever. Um, didn't speak their language, they speak Chinese, I speak Vietnamese, so that obviously didn't work. I was basically communicating with the kid, basically saying, yeah, I want a test driver, have a look at it, what else is wrong with it? So, took it for a test drive, had the kid with me as well, when I took it for the test drive, and oh my God, getting this vehicle out of the driveway. So this, look, to give you guys an idea, they lived in a one-way street, where it was extremely difficult to move out of, you need to have like a three, four point turn just to get out of the house. So. While going out the driveway, guys, I realized, so they, they said, you know, the steering was a bit heavy. And when they said the steering wheel was heavy, it was really heavy. So it, there was basically no power steering. So I've had experience with no power steering cars before, driving a couple of race cars, things like that. But this was on another level. So this thing, I literally had to move this thing like it was a boat you know, going through a tsunami. That's how it felt. I was using two hands, full strength, having to just to turn the wheel a micro amount of right as much as I could just to turn this vehicle. And I ended up getting it out there eventually. Went for a test drive. Honestly, I only drove, like driven it about 100 meters because it was that difficult to drive. Um, I reparked the car. I had a look at it again, looked under the hood. Basically told the family, look, this car needs power steering. That's gonna cost quite a bit of money to do so. I told them, look, I'll offer you this much, like if I was going to buy, but honestly, I'm not gonna buy it because it was too much work. Um, and the mom and the dad basically said, you know what, okay, look, how much do you wanna buy it? And I was like, I'll be honest, I probably, you know, I honestly just threw out a figure because they had enough for about three grand, four grand or so. Um, and I told them about the problem and how much it's gonna cost um, and things like that. And I said, I, I just gave them a massive low ball offer and I was like, yeah, I'd probably give you like a thousand bucks for it, you know, if I really wanted it. But I'll be honest, I'm gonna leave it for now. Ended up driving home and once I was halfway on the road, I got a text message back from the kid and the mom basically saying, hey, if you want a thousand bucks, pick it up, it's yours. 
So, long story short, let's fast forward um, into today. So basically what happened was all today during that period, but basically what happened is Carl was featured in an ad. Um, you guys will see that in a video very, very shortly. So I made some money with this car actually, um, putting it into a very small infomercial cat, uh, ad, So which was pretty cool. So I'll show you guys that in the next video, which you guys will see as well very, very soon. But basically while this car was going out to do the fitting for the ad got into a commercial um the gearbox started to slip on the way there and as soon as i got back on the way back from it it actually went into limp mode here's a short little video of me panicking mid traffic in the car in limp mode so guys we are driving the accord euro uh the accord odyssey uh the odyssey itself i'm talking mumbo jumbo and this car is literally on its last legs um looks like we can only shift to first to second this is not ideal for a car that you want to sell looks like the gearbox is pretty much on its way out so I am now on my way to go buy a new gearbox and basically get it installed for this car so man I didn't think that this was gonna happen but it looks like it was so at first it was only first it was jumping a little bit nothing crazy but now it seems to have gotten worse throughout the day and it happened to happen on the day of the shoot fit out so I need to get this fixed before the next shoot that's obviously gonna cost some money. Um, so I've caught a wrecker, he's gonna deliver it to my mechanic. My mechanic's gonna get it installed. And it should hopefully be finished by the time it's to the next shoot, basically. So it's a bit unfortunate. So you guys would have saw the last one of the last episodes where I flipped an old Honda for basically nothing. Um, but now with this one, unfortunately, it looks like I won't be making any profit, if not anything. So I'll give you guys an update once I do, and we'll go from there. Full cost as well. I was texting my mechanic at the time, um, and basically, I was just basically saying, man, shit, I am not going to make it. This ad's not gonna work. A company is relying on this car to make money out of it in an ad. I'm relying on this car to get home. I'm also going to be losing money and paying more money to get this sorted. So, long story short, ended up making it back to my mechanics place in limp mode so keep in mind if you guys don't know what limp mode is limp mode is basically the car is literally on its last legs while it's driving it's literally like driving like this so i'm in like mid peak hour traffic 3 4 p.m in the afternoon and my car is driving like this going a maximum of probably 30 40 kilometers up some hills as well hazards on on the far left side all the way back to my mechanics place so long story short got there Basically caught up every single local wrecker there was locally, had to find one, found one luckily, had them deliver the gearbox to my mechanic and basically said, look, here it is, let me know how much it's going to cost to get done. Once I got done, the gearbox finally went in, made the ad, the ad got done, and then eventually, after a little while, the car had finally sold. So let me guys give you an idea of exactly what basically went on, how much it sold for, and what the expenses were. All right, so let me give you guys an idea of exactly what is going on, how much the expenses were, and I'll put it up on the screen so you guys can see what is going on to give you a rough idea of what it cost for me to get this back on the road and flip it and then make some profit. So let me give you guys an idea. So purchase price, guys, I purchased this car for a $1,000. Um, then I had to get the power steering uh, organized and fixed and obviously with the labor on top that cost us about $545 um, basically new oil oil filters ping slip uh, put that together uh, making it a total amount just getting it on the road to be able to drive was $1,660 then obviously we had the mishap with the gearbox basically that going out the gearbox cost six hundred dollars insulation was about seven hundred dollars so that's thirteen hundred dollars there and then you have new miscellaneous things such as you got the rego the green slip transfer papers as well uh, rear engine mount as well had to be put in there making it a grand total so far that car owing me three thousand eight hundred and fifty one dollars and ninety four cents so after doing this obviously that's how much was put into the car I basically had the luckily amount of $700 is what I got for the ad. So basically I got $700 for the car ad promo, which I got the car into an ad, which you guys will see again in the next video. Um, and basically that totaled an amount owing of $3,151.94. And then I eventually got it sold. 
So I ended up actually selling the car in good nick, drivable, perfectly fine, which this stuff I didn't want to deal with initially. Um, and I ended up sitting at, selling it for $4,000 on the dot. Um, and keep in mind, when I sold this car, I was actually hung over from a wedding the day beforehand, but it, it disappeared. I was great, had cash in my hand, and see you later. And that makes a grand total profit, guys, of $848.06. So... This car definitely gave me a journey, that is for sure, guys, but I made $848.06 for a car that basically was going to cost me nothing anyways, guys. But to give you guys an idea, like I said, if you guys know a little bit about cars, if you guys know a bit about fixing them up yourself, DIY, that will definitely save you some money. You can actually make money flipping cars. And to give you guys an idea, this is not my first rodeo. I've actually flipped cars back in the past as well, guys. I've actually fixed some of them up. You'll see in one of my other videos, which I'll put here as well, where I found basically a 1991 Honda Civic ED, so a nice little hatchback, and I ended up making profit out of that car as well, which is great. Um, and obviously in between, I've obviously sold and bought cars because obviously that's just something that you do. But guys, 850 bucks worth of profit from a car that I ended up using that actually worked out for me and gave me a great experience of being in an ad. My car actually got featured in a car ad, which was great because honestly, that's an experience that you'll never get. It's one of those once in a lifetime type of things and there may be some more hopefully in the future if I find another car that works out. Who knows, I might even put my van in one of them one day. I might, might put in a, a request and see if they, it can get something in there, guys. But that's a short little video, guys, to give you guys an idea of what happened this is Mike from Mike's Money Move, guys. If you guys haven't been to this channel before, we like to talk about making money and we like to talk about saving money. And you have just seen how I bought a Honda Odyssey 2006 and made $850 worth of profit throughout the whole period. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.